let's look at the mobility management um, conceptual framework from another perspective similar to the uh, variety of uh, mobility in terms of the network attachment point we can look at mobility as changing ids or the identifiers it is a very important concern because the variety of identifiers actually necessitates a mechanism that can switch the id of a user equipment when it is moving depending upon the last network to which it was connected and to the new network to which it joins the ids have to be correspondingly assigned so we will start with the general understanding of uh, the need for identifiers the addressing of a uh, process user equipment service network network access point demands that we need to have proper addresses that can be defined down to the granular levels it can be understood to be a serious concern when mobility is also at play because we don't have static services we have users on the go seeking service continuity maybe changing service so we have lots of services the user equipment is connecting disconnecting again connecting disconnecting while moving the communication modes are changing and the devices can change because a user is logged on into the network service using one device then it changes the device and the physical or the geographical position in itself is changing so it means that the need to have identifier as a mobility management requirement is beyond doubt very critical broadly speaking we can think about the user ids changing or the location ids changing let's start with the user ids first each user or its device has a unique identifier of course the user id can be of any type depending upon what kind of network or technology is integrated into the overall next generation network architecture for instance for gsm we have mc uh the international mobile subscriber identification we have the e.164 numbering that translates um a hierarchical domain like numbering scheme for pstns then we have the use user res uniform resource identifier used in sip for ip multimedia subsystem based services we have email ids and the list can go on so it means these user identifiers have to be managed if a user equipment moves then correspondingly the user identifiers have to be ensured for continuity of service from one network to the other a very major concern in fact a bigger concern is to know the location through its own id the location information is managed through location management module which is not a single module in itself but it comprises certain other functional elements the location management actually determines the current location of the user so that all the 
calls which are terminating for the user or the ongoing sessions are not disrupted. The location information can be categorized as the physical location, the geographical location through a physical identifier. The physical identifier is a, is a well-known concept. Uh, we know that in Wi-Fi IEEE 802.11, we have the service set ID of the access point to which the laptops and other wireless devices connect. We have the base station ID in cellular networks. Um, each base station ID is associated with a location area code. Then we have uh, the logical ID. Physical ID is more at the device level. Logical ID is something that can be translated into a device and it can then be changed to another device location. So the logical location ID actually is nothing but an IP address. So it means an IP address which is assigned to a certain access point or a base station can be unassigned and can be reassigned to another uh, access point or to another base station. So uh, these IP addresses are used to realize uh, routing. So a routable IP address is basically the best representation of the logical location of a certain um, network element. So the mobility management for the next generation networks primarily focuses on the uh, uh, logical location identifier. Obviously, uh, the network ID or the network part of the IP address actually determines the network to which the user is currently connected um, at the moment. Uh, these identifiers, the logical IDs for the location, uh, like simply IP address assignment, is either temporary or it is uh, permanent. So we say that these IP addresses can be assigned uh, temporarily when a user moves from one location to, to the other. Depending upon the user uh, movement, a user can be assigned an IP address when a user moves to another location, it is assigned a new IP address. Uh, this can happen for the network devices as well. Uh, that is a certain um, ISP buys a pool of IP addresses and assigns addresses to its network elements. But then the pool of IP addresses is changed. New IP addresses are assigned to the network element. So anyways, the concept of uh, being temporary is is well understood. Uh, in the case of uh, persistent um, IP address assignment, the IP address does not change. It means uh, the persistence can be in terms of time, like uh, days, months, years maybe, or it can be in terms of uh, the continuity of session. So as long as the session is uh, alive, the IP address does not change. Uh, the protocol from the ITF, the mobile IP, actually uses both these terms like the uh, uh, home address, which is given by the home agent uh, to a certain user equipment, is, is permanent. It does not change. So when a user moves to another network, care of address is assigned to it by the foreign agent. So you see a mobile IP is a classical uh, mechanism that implements uh, both temporary IP address and permanent IP address together to provide seamless uh, continuity of uh, sessions. This is the overall representation of the identifiers used for managing mobility. User IDs are quite obvious. The location ID can be represented 
as persistent location ID or temporary location ID.